You guys ready? Mm-hmm. All right, you're not going to get scared, are you? No. We're talking about some scary stuff. Yeah, this is creepy as it gets, but we'll be all right. <laughs> okay, thank you. If you need to, you with can hold With the power of friendship. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hello, this is Justin with Between the Studs, and I have Mock Master Mark and Mock Mistress Angie with me today. And? and oh, there's a weenie in your lap. Happy Halloweenie! Aww. It's Lily. The unofficial mascot of the Atlanta Brick Co. Yep, here she is. <laughs> in brick form. Yeah. This video is like a part two to the last Halloween video we did. Rx Neo, a YouTube commenter, thank you so much for your contribution, suggested that we dive a little more in depth to some of the things that we mentioned but didn't really talk about mm -hmm. and show. And then we have even more spooky slash Halloween slash just costume in general minifigs and parts and just other monsters we didn't talk about. There are so many times that something remotely spooky or creepy showed up in Lego that we didn't get to it all. So this is like a part two. On a very exciting trip to both uh, the Lego house and Scarebeck uh, Lego fan festival convention over there uh, in Denmark. That was in 2018, a couple years ago. I got to bump into uh, two Lego designers, one of which I knew from previously on Flickr and Lego community stuff. Uh, uh, Carl and Mike, who actually designed multiple sets among themselves. Most notably, I think the Saturn V was one that they designed together. Oh, it's wow. really cool. So these guys are awesome Lego designers. And I was chatting with them about general stuff about classic Lego themes that we liked. They introduced me to this uh, Lego designer and, and like parts designer and Lego employee for a long time. His name is Niels. He has been working for Lego since he was a little kid, but he designed most of the um, classic elements that we know and love, like the original horse, the original spider, octopus, all the graphic design for the sales of pretty much all the classic pirate ships, all the amazing stuff, all the nostalgic stuff, wow. right? Wow! So, amazing designer, really talented. He designed, uh, like, all the adventurer sets. That was his, like, passion project. Johnny Thunder is actually based on him. Really? Yeah, yeah. so it's really yeah. fascinating stuff. In that conversation, which I don't remember all the exact quotes of it, because it was a couple years ago, but the gist of it was they had a really tough time getting the Lego skeleton into production. They had made prototypes of them very early. I'm guessing probably um, late 80s, very early 90s. The owner of Lego at the time, obviously Lego is very pacifist, that's why they don't do military stuff. And he was not excited about having skeletons or representations of death in his child mm. toy set. So this is really against their ideology of sorts. Uh, apparently Niels, who was designing castle stuff as well at the time, had put a prototype skeleton in a set prototype just to kind of see how it would look and when the Lego owner was giving a tour to some I'm guessing business people or executives or whatever he saw the skeleton and didn't say anything when he was giving the tour when he came back he said to Neil's like get rid of that thing we're never doing skeletons or you're oh, fired no. and he was like really really like don't do the skeletons but somehow only a few years later in 1995 the first Lego skeleton appeared in both pirate sets and castle sets simultaneously somehow I don't know exactly how but they managed to sneak it in there and they must have convinced him that listen the kids will love it mm -hmm. it's gonna be great it's not scary it's, it's not too scary. It's it, fun. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a toy. It's part of the toy aspect. And uh, apparently they got it through. And it's a good thing they did because Lego skeletons are super popular. They're yes. almost like an iconic thing, mm -hmm. as iconic as any other classic Lego element. Yeah, so, absolutely. Very cool. Very interesting story to hear that. Yeah. Kind of First hand, or even like just barely <laughs> second. And Niels is right there yeah, when we we're talking from about the source. It yeah. That's Crazy amazing. Stuff. I bet you anything they either play tested it, especially yeah. with the loose arms. You know, it's just so much yeah. fun. Yes. Uh, after they saw the results of that, they're like, we can make money. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> That's probably where the, it They're going to buy the set if there's a skeleton in yeah. it, right? You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's so exciting. And you said Ghost followed shortly after, Yeah, I right? believe it's like within a year or two there's going to be Ghost too. I, I need to check Bricklink again. It's okay. either the same time or within a few years. We mentioned Castle in the last podcast. I did not realize it was Pirates running kind of congruently, right? Mm -hmm. They were right with each other. Yeah, I mean, it was Castle and Pirates together for a long time throughout the 80s and 90s, and apparently the skeleton released in the same year, 1995, in the, both uh, Pirate wow. and Castle sets 
same year. Speaking of pirates, we do have probably the spookiest pirate ship ever made. Oh my goodness, yes. We have the zombie shark there underneath. So we do have the Silent Mary from the Pirates of the Caribbean. I forget which movie. Is it it's not Dead Men Tell No Tales? There's another one. That this has the super exclusive zombie shark, which is the based on the larger shark body. It's only two pieces. The head is the same mold. Mm -hmm. The color is new. The prints are completely new. And it has the zombified body. The too. ribs exposed. <laughs> the ribs yeah. ex I and love you it. Can, as we talked about on our animal podcast a long time ago, you can fit a minifigure yes. inside there. Probably more than one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nom, nom, nom. What do you guys want to start with? Do you want to kind of uh, go in chronological order roughly? Well, I mean, we always start chronological and then it just never. spirals out of control. Yeah. I would say I we have so many of these cool costume figures. And when you think of Halloween, you think of what costume you're wearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. I would dive into. Cool. Uh, before we get into that, mm -hmm. do you guys have a favorite either Halloween or spooky movie or the first movie you guys can think of that really scared you? Hmm. Ooh, that really scared me. Well, I begged my parents for years when I was a young teen, I guess, to see Nightmare on Elm Street. My dad kept saying, you're not, you're not going to want to see it. I'm, I'm like, no, I really do. So he rented it, and I sat between them on the couch, and we watched Nightmare on Elm Street together. And he was right. I had nightmares. It was scary. Freddy Krueger has always been really scary to me. That's the movie that scares me the most. Eclipse Graphics makes all these. The Where's Freddy Krueger? Uh, he's here. Freddy? Here's Freddy. This was the man of my nightmares for many. Eclipse Graphics and uh, Big Kid Bricks and other printers mm -hmm. make these awesome make, And figures. we do carry them in the store. They're printed on real Lego pieces. They use Lego elements whenever they can. If there's something that's very specific, they will mold their custom mold. Mm -hmm. So anything you see, for those of you watching, not listening, that you're like, wait a minute, that's not Lego. It's not. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking at it, it's like, yeah, that looks like a Lego piece, it is. They have a proprietary method to take off the prints and then they print their own. We have Jigsaw from the Saw movies, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Pennywise from it. the new It, mm -hmm. it. Child's Play, the uh, Chucky, Chucky doll yeah, he's with the short too. legs, Pinhead from Hellraiser, Cinnabite, I think is what the name, uh, Jason Voorhees, mm -hmm. no, that's Jason Voorhees, that's Michael Myers, Michael I said Myers, that, yeah. Michael mm -hmm. Myers. And then uh, the Scream Ghost, and I believe that's just the Lord of the Rings Ring Wraith. Looks like they it. didn't yeah. change yeah. the robes at all. It's, oh, you wow. don't need to, right? Yeah. It's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. So, do you have a particularly scary movie, childhood, adulthood, do you anything? Watch scary? I am uh, unlike most of the rest of the Atlanta Brick Co. crew, and I, I've completely avoided scary things my whole life intentionally. I'm not a scary movie guy. I think that my most recent experience with something that was designed to be around the spooky season was probably Stranger Things season two. I really love Stranger Things as a, mm -hmm. as a yeah, show. It was I, count, scary. I count that. I totally count yeah. that. And it was set around yes. Halloween. You have the little kids dressed up as yeah. the Ghostbusters. Yes. You have all this fun stuff. And then there's, it was kind of like a little bit scary. Like it was like yeah. a little yeah. bit of an exorcist vibe when they get the ghost out of the little boy. It was like, you know, so it's kind of spooky. And so that was my closest experience. And it's because it's so nostalgic. I got a little taste of everything yes. wrapped up you in did. that show. Yes. So that's, that's, that's my, that's my closest experience to a, uh, Halloween I, or scary I am movie. trying to get him to watch Beetlejuice because it's not scary. It's funny, <laughs> but he won't watch it. No, he's just not likely to watch a lot of scary movies anytime soon. Beetlejuice. I gotta say, it don't one say, more time, don't say it one more time. If I say it one more time, him. he'll be here. <laughs> it's showtime. I tend to gravitate more toward the fanciful and not thrillers. I don't mm -hmm. really care about thrillers as much. I think that's why Freddy is my favorite, like slasher guy. Because even though there's supernatural elements later to Michael Myers and Jason, in the movies in the beginning, it was just a big dude who he was, was kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, Scary murder movie. Uh, the other yeah. film that scared me a lot was Poltergeist for, you know, the little yes. girl. That one was... Scary. The first movie I remember that legitimately scared me, where I didn't want to go to bed that night, mm -hmm. was The Ring, the American oh, Ring. Yeah. And I remember I had a small TV in my room, and I put a towel over that TV. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not want, like I actually got looked up and like, I don't want to look at that thing. <laughs> well, I won't was... watch Quiet Place because... I started watching I saw it. the first one and I was absolutely was terrified. Right, so that, that, that's, right. I should have thought of that. That's yeah. just as I, scary. I saw the first 10 minutes of it and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I will suggest a good psychological thriller that has a lot of fantasy elements to it is Oculus. 
And it's a horror movie people don't really talk about that much, so I want to use this as my platform to yeah. promote it <laughs> real quick. Justin, before. recommend Oculus. Oculus. It's about a, a mirror that turns you kind of crazy and makes people kill people. So there's nothing supernatural other than the mirror. As the movie progresses, they keep flashing back to what happened before, this brother and sister, and then what the mirror is showing them. Mm. Because you can't destroy the mirror. The mirror always protects itself. Like, for, for instance, they'll like come at it with a knife, and then they'll wake up, and they're stabbing the knife into themselves. Oh, jeez. Mm. And so yeah, the dream world, or what they're seeing in the mirror, they keep cutting in between, and then those two worlds converge into each mm. other, where he, one of the characters walks into the living room on himself as a child watching a movie. So it's it's you never know what's real. It's really really good. I don't hear people talk about this movie enough, but Oculus yeah. if you want to see it. Well, anyway. and I was going to say to you, another one that played with my mind was Misery where she's obsessed with this author and then she holds him hostage and or The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, which is a whole other those, Those are psycho women. Yeah. So let's talk costume. Nice, cute, <laughs> fun, <laughs> innocent. There's no segue, costume. so let's just no, go. No, let's just do it. <laughs> it's a hard cut. And you can see that they're, they've got the costume because the, a lot of them have the zippers in the back. Mm -hmm. I love that. And the faces showing. Some yeah. people think that's kind of strange. I like it. No, it's like that's, it's a costume. This is uh, Angie's collection of costume people. This is not all of them. Uh, the first costume guy was the... I want to say it was the gorilla suit. Gorilla so. suit. That was series three? Something like that. It was, it like was two early. or three, yeah. yeah. I remember him being very popular. Mm -hmm. And that's one I don't have, so I've got, I'm have i going to buy that one. <laughs> Let's set it aside. After the show's done. Yeah. Lizard suit guy, or dinosaur suit guy. He was like guy. C, uh, series five, I want to say, and also okay. very early. So. And he's kind of like the mascot, I feel like, for the costume people. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see costume mm -hmm. guys being represented, he's always there. I'm going to buy that one, too. If you think of a flatable or really quick costume, you see the T-Rex yes. co costume memes, he's almost almost part of that, you know, yeah. ethos, you know, so it's hilarious. As far as the CMFs, we did do an entire two-parter yes, podcast it was long, but of it was good. all the CMFs, so we won't go into every single one because there was, what, eight? Team was all party and they were almost all in costume mm -hmm. the entire series. Yep. Yes. So we won't go into every single one. We, well, we wanted to focus on animals and food. And food. Though I did Today. bring out the bricks. I know mm -hmm. that was no, they're uh, cute. They, because it's so Lego. I mean, it it's Lego. it's Lego and it's a costume. So. Lego makes costumes very similar to that. Exactly. For kids, so yes. it's perfect. Yes. We mentioned BAM figures as well, and so we have a few examples of the BAM figures. Uh, the build a minifigure costumes. So there's the repaint of the rabbit guy into the chocolate bunny. The elephant into the pink elephant. Oh. We have the panda into the uh, Valentine's. Brown bear, yeah. Brown bear. Yeah, I need to the baby blue pug. Blue. Recolor Are you of okay? the... okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> and the rarest one, the most impressive one. I cannot believe Angie has this, and I'm so minifig jealous. I'm minifig crushing on that. That is the Chinese New Year, Year of the Pig, hmm. pig costume guy. That Super uber rare only came out in Asia. That and was I the year before, I believe it was those sets that the fans made such a stink mm -hmm. that Lego said, okay, fine, fine, we're not gonna do any exclusives. regional exclusives yeah. anymore. Yeah. So that came out in the, uh, there were two that year, it was the Chinese dinner and the um, dragon. dragon. We had one and Angie snatched it up, good for you. I'm just a little jelly. Yeah, I'm jelly that I don't have the pink elephant and you own that so yeah we'll yeah. be jelly together we'll be jelly. <laughs> the fox girl was a lego movie 2 actually right mm -hmm. um was she? no that was one of the uh, oh, series oh. i want to say 20 it was yeah. okay yeah, you're right. i know she appeared in the lego movie yes and that people made a big deal about that sure, i think okay. the giraffe was a lego movie too. oh okay yeah. the giraffe was yes mm -hmm. the her, uh her chicken is super cool uh, oh, the fox and, girl's chicken is super cool because it's the only time we, we ever got, got a tan okay. chicken yeah the only tan chicken in existence came from that uh i know this is dc right yeah, mm -hmm. that's Orca. But I, do they not have a shark person? Yeah, they have a shark one. Yeah, I don't think we have it here. I have that. Oh, I thought you had it. I didn't bring it. You know, color. Color of the the more we do this, the more I realize what I really don't have. I also need to know about this unicorn, because I have the blue unicorn, but mm -hmm. what is that one, and where did it come I believe from? that's the earlier unicorn from, I want to say, like, in the series, uh, anywhere from 8 to 10 range. The white female unicorn. Yep. And then you had this hair. one from, I think, that's series 18. Yeah. Unicorn Knight. So I've got to get several. And the, 
spider person. Mm -hmm. I love that too. That's from the series 18 Halloween, right? Okay, yes. And so let me ask this. So this is a dinosaur and this is a dragon. This red one is the Mm -hmm. dragon. Mm -hmm. And there's the alternate banana guy without the banana on him. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And he has the cool Hawaiian shirt print underneath. Oh, with the bananas. The banana shirt print underneath, yeah. Yes, that Ah, came in the little uh, box. And we, at one point in the summer, we had like six or seven Mm -hmm. of those boxes. Yep. And they all slowly dwindled away. Yep, and now we We don't have that many. I think we have some on BrickLink. And then this one I just bought today, the little chick person. (laughs) This is precious. It came in a little pod. I think that was an Easter thing. I believe so, yeah. But also a good Halloween costume. The reason I brought the cow boy down first of all you made a hilarious joke i led the joke with like have you seen the movie aliens and they're like yeah and then i'm like okay imagine that but a western i held up the figure <laughs> with a horse it. bursting out of its chest i love it it's a horse costume of course it, yeah. it is the classic horse i mean the the really stereotypical one is the one where someone has to be the butt and yeah. then yeah, someone yeah. has to be the head but you see this all the time mm-hmm. it's the inflatable mm-hmm. or the stuffed one and the cactus goes girl goes with the western theme I love her face one of her faces is not happy like mm-hmm. her costume actually hurts, hurts. <laughs> or it's uncomfortable yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's on the inside it's prickly in, in uh, her, yeah. and then we've got the little guy with the plane I think it's a little girl actually with the yeah. eyelashes can I show everybody what you got our friend Brad P got me from Legoland I'm mm-hmm. so excited about this this little Bam, the little flower child. Oh, that's adorable. The recolor of With the... With the bear, different color. One of the CMFs. This is recolored into that powder blue. My friend... Brad P. did this, too. He gave me the, the other BAM of the uh, mm-hmm. butterfly with wow. the chocolate bunny. And it came with the chocolate bunny as well. And it was all Justin. Justin was down in Legoland, and he felt guilty that he didn't buy them for me, but that's because he didn't know that I wanted yeah, them. Yeah, but Brad P. Brad came P. in clutch. Came oh, yes. He, he sure came really in clutch. Did, Thank you, Brad Super P. Fan. Thank you, Brad. Those are all mine, too. I'm obsessed with the food. <laughs> Except and I, I believe he's not holding his pizza slices. I'm not yeah, sure why. He probably I, sprung out of his head. Probably yeah, ate them already. Ate them. <laughs> That's right. He's hungry. Uh, how does he still fit in that costume, being constantly yeah. around pizza? We were talking about this on the live stream the other day. Like, how do you work there? How do you? How are you a Lego fan? And you actually work there. It's like you're constantly around the thing mm-hmm. that you're obsessed the with. West, mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. It's you difficult. Know, having seen this mold. I want to make a prediction that one day a CMF will be a piece of pie because mm-hmm. they have the quarter tile pies. Mm-hmm. So I want to make that prediction. I don't know why. I'm just I, saying I it can here. see that so happening. Yeah. Yeah. Hear it here first, people. And I also feel like the peas should carry hold the carrot. Peas and carrots, not peas and apples. That's yes. not the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of pie? Apple. I mean, you do an apple. apple. Yeah. How would you do the graphic of that of an apple pie? Would you put some well, ice cream on? I would have a on lattice it? on it. You have a little whipped cream oh, around the his la- face. Yes, yep. the lattice. Yes, that's exactly how you do it. Well, the quarter tile has a lattice pie. I don't okay. think it's apple. I think it's it's like a red berry, like a oh, like a cherry, cherry, pie. Yeah. Yeah. cherry okay. or. A, then we also have um, this the hot dog. There were two versions of the hot dog, and the Friends has a hot dog version that uses the same exact top. Mm-hmm. Were they different? But so they never change a color, nothing. That's exactly the same. the same to me. And then the corn guy. The corn guy. And then the other regular banana. And the most outstanding thing to me, to the corn guy, is not the corn outfit, but that really healthy, bristly mustache. <laughs> He is probably the largest of any minifig. Yeah. He's rocking the mustache. I game. know. Yeah. That is so 80s. Do you guys have a favorite costumed figure? I know we don't have all of them here. Not monster, but people in costume. The panda one really, I think, has the best accessory with a little panda yes. doll. So I think that's one of my favorite mm-hmm. ones. I really, really obsessed over the giraffe when it first came out. I loved that. The llama, just the tall. But I guess if I had to pick one, one, I'd, I'd say I'm obsessed with my chocolate bunny and the bee. I really like the bumblebee. Bumblebee's and I've like heard the bumblebee is hard to get. Mine is the dragon. Hmm? It I is love, pretty awesome. I, because it's modeled after the last dragon the, yes, they made. The red, mm-hmm. yes. the red one. So. That was a CMF? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I gotta buy that. And they have that new dragon head from the video. Mm-hmm. line, which we don't mm-hmm. have one in the store. They're recoloring it because I always keep up with the spooky minifigs. Mm-hmm. In video two, the second wave of the boxed, truly blind Mm -hmm. (laughs) boxes that you can't feel up, they're recolouring that red dragon in blue Mm. with translucent blue wings. Really? Nice. Yes. Is that that a shout out to Lego Masters designer here with the blue? That's right. I'm absolutely Absolutely planned. Yeah, for sure. I knew that the... 
videos have been canceled. Is that right? I I, I feel I, like they've been canceled or discontinued. Supposedly, whatever the they're going back to the drawing board. They're Lego's official updated. thing said that. Uh, we know it's not working, and that's all they said. They had a very political statement, a very they're changing kind it up statement. Yes, well, I have to it's say, I did not <clears throat> care for it at first. I didn't think it was very. I just didn't care for it. But I'm starting to look at it through your eyes, and the figures themselves are super unique. They are. And that is what is making me go. Yeah. Okay, I got it. And speaking of spooky, there are three spooky right. ones in the blind. Did you get it? I yeah. haven't gotten them yet, and we don't have any in store. No. And I've heard they're going to be because they weren't successful they're going to be far limited release uh, see. and they may be like a store exclusive yeah so i may just have to buy a bunch of them yeah. from them and Are then trade out? them back here yeah they came out october 1st oh. but the three spooky ones they do have a dj zombie okay. in lime green i Ooh. think is his skin tone that'd be cool they have that recolor of the dragon like i said in blue okay. and they have a slime monster with a new head and he, he has Maybe. like those '80s grill glasses, yeah. whatever they call. But but he's a oh, slime monster, awesome. and his body is printed slime. So Pieces, yeah, wow. three spooky figures that I am looking for okay. to get, and they now just that I know. Came out. But uh, I might be going up to the Lego store this weekend. There's a chance we can have an opening party. That's right. That's right. Those you can't feel. That's what yes. hurts me so that's much. Scary. It's <laughs> truly a surprise. Yeah. Yes. Ones. While we're on figs, is there any shout outs or mentions you want to give? We mentioned this on the last podcast. Not just Monster Fighters and Studios had cr- creepy creatures. You also had a lot of cool monsters in, what were these called? Atlantis. Atlantis. And, and those claws, the- those dark red claws are super hard to get. And when we get those figures in, they never have the claws. Mm-hmm. And of course, dark red has a limited shelf life. Yeah. <laughs> those are pretty sturdy. Uh, they compared are. to like the arms, torsos, and other plates that'll break really quick. Mm-hmm. I feel like those claw pieces are thick enough that they're not going to break too badly. Okay. Yeah. Should I separate his torso a little bit? No, he's to keep him? Him. If, if he's already put together he hasn't broken yet we're pretty sure okay I know Chris always says some of them crack in the case Mm -hmm. they do so we've got the crab guy and the stingray guy from Atlantis Mm -hmm. we also need to cover the figures from Mark's favorite theme Nexo Knights I'm gonna take a sip of water while you guys talk about this here (laughs) that's a very sarcastic sip of water he's taking right now Uh, it's a very ironic sip of water we mentioned this briefly in the last podcast but here they are, some examples of some really cool Nexo Knights. To me, the monsters were the only saving grace of Nexo Knights at all. You got some you have to lava admit. monsters. They were awesome. Um, yeah. a, a lightning rock monster in purple like a and golem trans blue. ghost person. Yeah, yeah, he is awesome. Here's I'll... the question, though. Do you own any of them? I have this guy. A couple of versions of that guy. Wait, what is he? Um, is he's he? like he looks like he's like a molten. Oh, like a cool lava. Off, and he's got these punching okay. gloves. And I, there's one guy that's just like this one fire being, and he's mm-hmm. awesome. They made a couple of versions of him. I've gotten both of those at least once or twice. So there's a couple okay. figures that are just so. So darn cool, I couldn't help but to buy them. The yeah. main cast of Night Nexo guys, no. Yeah. Or there's a gal too, but they didn't. Yeah. This is uh, the winged version that's the beefed up, the ones you said that were in a different color. Those were the powered up versions mm-hmm. of them. So the flame guy, he was red. The beefed up version that came like in the yellow, small pack yep. was yellowy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the beefed up version of, I believe her name was Laveria, had the wings. Talk about like a, taking it out of Nexo Knights, just making mm-hmm. it like this winged evil succubus or something. Yeah. I mean, this being. She yeah. just yeah, looks, I mean, she's evil. she has the lava, she has fangs, black lipstick. She is awesome. She is. Mm-hmm. She's Re- pretty good. Oh, hello. What? The power flicked. Yeah. Or was that? Or was that? The basement phantom. <laughs> Better not start another one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> While we're talking about the rock monsters, can uh, we... In- it is the Phantom. Can we include the Rock Monster oh. Nexo Knights? Not Rock Monsters. Nexo Knight books. Yeah, yeah, those are awesome too. These were the brick built books, and they fit right in. And they even have in each of them. They even have a sticker. A sticker. Uh, the Phantom needs to go. The Phantom's away. really <laughs> trying hard it to scare us. It has tiles with the. It has. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this at my house? Chris, we're doing a spooky episode. You can't just barge in like that. Where's his flames? He should have two more flames. I know. You only have one. That's all we got. Look at that. 
I had to interrupt real quick. How scary is this? I just got back from Brick World Indy, and I brought back a very special Halloween edition minifigure. <laughs> Who is it? It is the Studio Nestle Quick Bunny. I am dying over that. This is sealed in the bag. Now, do you know how people got no. this? Actually, I don't. Mark, do you know how that came I have out? No Was it a idea. promotional I'm, thing? I'm almost positive it was a promotional and could have been purchased with Nesquik products, too. I was going to say, did it But come, I'm not sure. Did so. it come in the Nesquik, like there was a voucher for it in the Nesquik But container? it's under the studio line. But they never made a Nesquik set, did they? No, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just that figure. And it's very hard to get. It's a very cursed-looking yeah, head that you can <laughs> oh, put yeah, the, uh, so the uh, bunny head on. And yeah. then it becomes, I think it's really the the precursor and the spiritual ancestor of um, the bunny these, suit guy. Yes, yes. yes. Awesome characters. So, uh, so. So how, is that like what two, three, four, five thousand dollars? No, it, it, it <laughs> could it? it could be up to a hundred bucks. Yeah. Up, okay. up to a hundred dollars. Sealed. Uh, sealed, sealed. Yeah, it's probably worth the same either way. <laughs> I do want to say thank you. This is the first time we've actually had one of these mm -hmm. ever. Uh, ever. I mean, we haven't even found the parts to these. Yeah. Never. Thank you to uh, Lucas and Justin up at Brick World. You guys know who you are for uh, getting this to us. This was part of the studios line, which is weird too. Yeah. yeah. Right. What does that have to do with Lego Studios? Like, you know, it'd be great if somebody would come comment and yeah. tell us the history of this. They should have done a, the Energizer Bunny, too. Yep. Yes. If we you know about have. that, let us know. Please yeah, do. we would yeah. love to know. That's yeah. like our Mr. Gold. That's We still haven't gotten Mr. Gold in, but... I don't All know. Right. Nesquik Bunny's pretty sweet. I like this. Aha, uh -huh, it was a pun. Gold. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Nesquik like <laughs> yeah, Bunny yeah, was nice pretty smart. sweet. All right. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> we it's thought you were the Phantom. The Phantom. Yeah, so these Next Night books, they even came with tiles that have scary monsters inside of them as well. And of course, one of them is the Lego version of the Necronomicon, mm -hmm. which uh, people went gaga for, I think. H.P. <laughs> Lovecraft, a writer, came up with it. It was just uh, his book that kind of appeared in many of his stories, famously used in the Evil Dead comedy mm -hmm. horror movies okay. as a, a key plot point. And that's what this... It's it's like a based on probably. kind of like a hint, yeah. It's right? a book kinda. with a face. Well, mm -hmm. then we have a Harry Potter version over there too. The Monster Book of Monsters. Oh, this is the original one, it's not the, the new one. CMF. Crawl. Mm, chomp, 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 <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, this was from 2004. So I, I knew so many people that just collected the books. Mm -hmm. I have the entire collection of books, even though Do I've you? never bought a Nexo Night set. In, in my life. They're I've always just, gotten the books, yes. They're just so cool. Do you want to talk about the Why not? Let's go back in, in history. The, yeah. the monsters. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about the elephants in the room. Yeah, we have. Exactly. Yeah. Who is this guy? Why is he here other than he looks awesome? And yes. he's missing his parts. So this is the lava monster from the Power Miner series, which is the sequel to the Rock Raider series, which would have had these, this brown rock, rock monster. Mm -hmm. And that over there is also rock monster, but he's kind of infused with the crystals that the Power Miners and Rock, Rider, rock Raiders go after. Should he have anything mines. on him, or is he complete? Uh, they he, had a few crystals. He would usually have a crystal or yeah. two sprouting oh, on his okay. back. Oh, okay. These guys, the first ones were cool because they actually had an arm that moved and didn't, mm. you know, you could put a figure in there. I think I can show you really quick here. Oh, and cool. You're like, hey, I'm going to throw you. Oh, and then sorted. these guys really elevated it to the next level with the little uh, mechanism. This is similar to the Knight's Kingdom 2 action figures uh -huh. with the movement and the joint. Mm -hmm. So um, these, the big lava monster, big rock raider, these, uh, these guys are awesome. They're very monstrous. They're not necessarily like a horror vibe, mm -hmm. but they're really cool, especially the flaming one. This one is particularly interesting because... This flame piece is removable, and, and we, there should be three here. We only have one because they're hard to I find. Always get lost. Because they don't look Lego, and I don't think they even say Lego on them. And they fall they out really easily, no, too. Yeah, and, um, and when the guys are sorting downstairs, um, they always put non-Lego in a bin, and before we get it thrown out, I go through all of it, and I find these every once in a while. Like they, I'm like, guys, that's It Lego. looks more Mega Block than yes, Lego, yeah. even though it is a Lego piece, and yeah. it's pretty expensive on Bricklink. And, and to, rare. to find a completed, do you remember his name? The uh, I want to say, like, Moltrix or something. S something Ix at the end. Yeah. With the to find a completed one with all three of his flame pieces. Oh, and they're he all was Eruptor, I think. Or something. Oh, up to yeah, her, yeah. that's right. Yeah. He's crazy expensive. Yeah, he's like Very. 50, 60 dollars with all his flame pieces. Yeah, we actually have a small handful of these guys without, mm -hmm. the, flames. without the flames, but that is literally the only flame we have in the store. 
<laughs> is you should that have one. three per guy. But yeah. We only have one for many yeah. of these. And yeah. they fall out easily. Yeah. I think they that's why they're right lost. Yep. Uh, you can yeah. shake him around a little bit and it'll pop off. Mm-hmm. It's just poor design or bad material. I don't know. Uh, but he's really cool. I'm definitely counting him in this podcast because he is an awesome, cool looking mm-hmm. monster creature thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On that same line, because I, I have another one here that's just as gruesome and scary as this one. I don't want you guys to Let get me prepare my mind. bladder. Yes. This right here, this is the monster fro- from Frozen from Elsa's magical castle. This is Marshmallow. I mean, he was pretty... Is that his name in the movie, too? That is yeah. his canon I mean, name. He, this yes. is pretty violent, I feel like. You know? I mean, look at those teeth. He's got teeth. those claws. Yeah, look at those teeth. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. It's right. going to mess you up. Well, they're made of ice. So right. that's, I mean, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. I, I only think of Marshmallow at the end credits. After the credits roll, there's a hidden scene where he just sits there at the bottom. You find out he lived when he mm-hmm. fell down the chasm. Mm-hmm. He lived. And Elsa's crown, when she threw it in, let it go, he takes the crown and puts it on his head. <laughs> Isn't that joy? <laughs> so, Poor Marshmallow. I need to, next time I watch Frozen, I'll wait for those yeah, end so credit scenes. I would That's ask, all it is. I would I really ask would who would win in a battle. Well, so one would cool the other one down, one would Melt heat the other the one up. Yeah. So they would both end up as, as a puddle, I think. They would, but they would be, they just they steam. Would be married. It'd just, it'd just be this like, uh, uh, bit of debris, a bit of steam in <laughs> a puddle. Oh, and they could get married. This is like girl play. Look, we pretend everything gets married. Here we go. <laughs> I love how she takes Are like you falling two into a violent monsters. <laughs> and it's like, no, they love each they other, love but each they can't. They're from different worlds. It's so Roma, Romeo and together. Juliet. I was about to say, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Mark and I oh, share a desk, wait. and he has a. Oh wait, what is she gonna crush her? No, no, no. Oh yes, the, the, who's the she gonna oh. choose? Oh. Yeah. The, the hunky crystal monster or the hot lava monster? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah, we no, just wrote our next Mark fan and fiction. I share it. <laughs> and then yes, he, he's, it. he's somebody's sidekick, just like, yeah. oh, no. He's, the, he's the ugly friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just was saying that Mark and I share a desk, and he has a one very similar to this from Nexo Nights, and I have this one, and they, mm-hmm. sit, they sit and talk to each other. Yes. They yeah. face off. Don't forget those guys. So they had all sorts of different colors of these guys. I believe the Red is the most expensive. He was the rarest, mm-hmm. I believe. I might be wrong about that. There's a blue that. and a trans neon green. And I think a regular green, like too. Orange, I don't know. Trans yeah, there's a bunch of... And these look trans neon awesome. They are uh, a lot of fun. We have a ton of them. They are so cool. I don't have any of these. I need to get some. Yep, yeah. I have one or two. They're pretty fun. They and, are um, neat. They're designed that? to, uh, you can put a stick of dynamite inside of them. That's what they're designed oh, to do. Real? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because their heads open up. Or eat a crystal, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's know right. That. I... So this is the, uh, we have a couple of these, like you said, Justin. This is the the head of a brick-built rock monster that's normally, I think he's about a foot tall. He's gigantic. And um, he was like the boss battle for the, the power miners in the, the first wave. I don't think he was part of the second wave. And so his, his I forget, his, I think he was the Crystal King is what his name was. And he has this awesome posable mouth mm-hmm. with these big crystal teeth. Oh, man. Teeth. Yeah. He looks he like he, he, looks like he needs really to visit underbite. a dentist or brush yeah. his teeth more often. He's got but, an um, underbite really bad. Yeah, he's got a bad underbite. But um, So he was a lot of fun. And uh, kind of like a bigger version of this guy over here. Did same you color own, scheme. Do you own that one? Or I don't own you? that one. Um, I have a lot of his pieces, I'm sure. I may have to buy this head if it's not too expensive. I don't think uh, it's terribly expensive. You said recreating his body is difficult because that's a lot of specific pieces that only came on him, right? Pretty much. There's some r- even rubber spikes and uh, very oh, cool yeah. molded that's pieces right. for his armor. So it's yeah, really neat. Yeah, that sounds neat. like a Justin monster. Before we leave all the stuff on the table, there's uh, that really cool sound break we should probably talk about. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Talk about the spookiest thing in the room. This is mine, people. I bought this when it came in. Some, it was in a bunch of bulk Duplo brick, and I saw it, and I went, that's not Duplo. And then I was like, that is Duplo. You, I am buying it. You don't think of Duplo as having any Halloween-themed anything. Or but, noise. Or or noise. This is a old sound brick from the late 90s. I think when we looked it up, 2002 was the last set it 2002. came in. 2002. Mm-hmm. There's two sets that came with the sound brick, both theater stories, so it wasn't just a spooky thing, but they came with a backdrop so that you could create scenes. I think one was like a the castle scene mm-hmm. with the, they had the cardboard backs the, to it what, that it wand. came with. Cardboard backing yes. and backgrounds. Yeah, big wow. backgrounds, yeah. And uh, Duplo had a lot of that stuff, as I've discovered. But the, it came with, that set came with a white ghost. And then sounds, uh, Can you want me to put it near the mic? Or you want to do it? 
I love it. There are eight sounds. Uh, the largest set came with two of these sound bricks. That's the witch. And you want some clashing sword action? Here comes the king. It's smart. <laughs> the birdie? How about a uh, creepy opening door? And I send some magic in the air. We're going to use that sound later in another I want podcast. that on my desk so I can just... Yep. Bring... The froggy. The frog prince. This is earliest as 1998, and it still works perfectly. We replaced mm -hmm. the batteries, and it worked. The ghost it came with, that set also came with one or two ghosts as well. The theater ones came with one ghost each, but then there were other sets that had multiple ghosts. And they produced them in glow-in-the-dark, too! Yeah, really, that one isn't, that's but they not. did. Yeah. Correct, yeah, and it came in, like... Uh, six sets. Six sets. It came in, well, four of the sets were glow-in-the-dark, and two were white. Talk about a rare item, and apparently this goes over a Duplo piece, so okay. it is a costume as it well. Is. It is. Can't get more so Halloween. So was that frog in the set. It's like there was the a frog, frog as well. Yes. So cool, so cool. So again, late 90s, early 2000s, when Lego was just throwing stuff at a wall, seeing what, what stuck. Would stick. Yep, that's right. And talk about rare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I would hazard to guess that most even die-hard fans don't even know that exists. Mm -hmm. There are zero on Brickling for sale. Yeah. Zero. Well, the glow in the dark, there were zero for sale. Yeah. The one that I'm obsessed over wanting to get is the Duplo poly bag that had the glow in the dark ghost with one figure and one brick. Mm -hmm. But it's the, like considered, I guess, the Halloween Duplo pack of the time. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, it's so awesome. Justin mentioned that we're doing spooky parts, and he wanted me on, on this one. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like, oh, I know what I can talk about. The old pump, printed pumpkin heads from various set themes. I have a couple examples here. My favorite is actually the earliest version of the printed pumpkin jack-o'-lantern head, and it's from the Scary Laboratory, I think is the set name on Bricklink. And it's from the, I don't know if it's studios or if it's like it's a... Studios, it is. Technically, it's mm -hmm. studios, and so... So they had the, all the different potions and the, the crazy scientists, and I think they even had like a, the monster from Frankenstein. And so they had this cool pumpkin head too, and it looks kind of menacing. It has kind of a frown, has yeah, these triangle eyes, a little flame nice inside. Looking. I didn't realize those were flames, so we were mm -hmm. looking at a like a really zoomed zoomed picture. In. Yeah, yeah, you can see the little orange flames in his eyes. So it's very menacing looking, and I, I remember that head being very cool and very sought after early in the Lego community. It was pretty neat. Right after that, uh, in 2007, they had the early Batman sets, and they had the of course, the scarecrow. Very creepy too. And he has a very menacing looking face, very savage looking. That was another, also pretty rare, because I mean, he, those sets were not very widely distributed. Mm -hmm. And so um, they, you know, you don't see it that often. We actually had all these on hand in our head drawer, which was pretty awesome. And then uh, in 2010, the more common one, when I think of a pumpkin head that I, I find a lot, it's this one it's from 2010. Star it was in the Jack o' Lantern type. Yep, it is from the uh, Harry Potter Hagrid's hut. Yes. And it was in there somewhere, or probably around the, the house, because I think he had pumpkins inside his house. Did the Marvel sets with Green Goblin come with new pumpkins, or were they the same so old ones? So, the, uh, the older ones from the early 2000s would have used a transparent orange, kind of this color, mm -hmm. and it was just a head like this. Oh, it didn't so, have a print. Mm, nope. so oh, okay. They were saving a little bit of money, and it was a little easier to make that way, but it probably meant to rep represent a pumpkin, but even though it didn't actually have that print. And then there's been a few recent ones which we don't have on hand. There's one from the uh, Microfighters and one from the uh, BAM, the um, same where you got these cool costume figures. Mm -hmm. They also had a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern head that has a big smile. It's really cute. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. To over the top pumpkin heads. I'm gonna go. Well, I got my moment. This is mm -hmm. my moment, moment to talk this about pumpkin moment. heads. You got the Minecraft pumpkin head, which is something from the game. It's very useful if you don't want to be attacked by the Enderman in the end Enderman. area. And then you have the jack-o'-lantern head that fits over a minifig head that came out in the Scooby-Doo sets. Mm -hmm. so I don't Scooby. know what year, but this is a pretty awesome piece. If you turn it around, it looks like a gigantic pumpkin piece. Yes. Yes. In fact, we had some customers come in about a week and a half ago who wanted to make a pumpkin patch and we didn't have the regular mm. looking ones. They wanted it to really look like it with the stem. So they mm -hmm. bought about four of those and just turned it around so you couldn't see the face. And then you have the pumpkin slash gourd slash squash piece. Mm -hmm. uh, we have in two red. in red here. I think these are from the Mulan set. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tell but, them where you found those, Mark. Oh, so they, I, was, I was browsing <laughs> John's desk yeah. And in the bin of minifigures to sort, I saw these two sitting in there. I'm like, well, I know what I've got for mm -hmm. Justin's video tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, the stuff we find around here. And those have only come out in 
red, and orange. Yep, and I, as far as we know. They're yeah. perfect for pumpkins, gourds, and lanterns. Yeah. Exactly. Is what, why they're in red, and I believe. Kind of a Chinese oriental Chinese lantern. Yeah. Yes, well, so yeah. yeah. And he mentioned a bunch of different themes just then. And we talked about this a little bit on the last one, but a lot of themes have spooky or Halloween-esque. You mentioned the Scarecrow. This is one of the Scarecrows from Batman. I consider this a cyber vampire from Nexo Knights. Exactly. But look at that face. Yeah, he is ready to I mean, sink his from? fangs Nexo into something. We, oh, Halloween. <laughs> Halloween came out. And we have zombie ice monsters mm -hmm. from Chima. I really like that elephant. I know Chima's whatever, but I like that elephant. He's got the bone um, yeah. trunk, which is yeah. actually very anatomically incorrect. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Very cool, nonetheless. Yes. We talked about that. There are no bones in elephant trunks. Right. They're yeah. all muscle. But you've got, I mean, exposed ribs. They even made that um, Garmadon that has the resurrected Garmadon with the mm -hmm. purple slime coming out of him. Mm -hmm. And he's got exposed ribs. So really cool. So you can find spookiness anywhere. Anywhere. Exactly. Even... In Disney. <laughs> We've got uh, some more rare pieces, some more rare printed things. Mm -hmm. As far as glow in the dark, monster fighters were the king oh, of, of having crazy cool glow in the dark stuff. This was off the front of the ghost the train. Ghost train. Yeah. And that set alone had, I think, the more glow Most. in the dark elements than any other it monster fighter. A, typically, mm -hmm. when we inventory that set, it has a lot of glow in the dark cones. Mm -hmm. And those are almost always missing. It came yeah. with three or four ghosts, yeah. and those were all glow in the dark. And then so. from the vampire castle, these guys, the, mm -hmm. the, moon, the crystals. The moon crystals. Do you know what those stand for? Yes, so each set came with a different one to represent the different monsters. And if you got all of them together, you put them in Lord Vampire's machine, he could block out the sun so monsters could rule Ooh. the day and yeah. night okay. all the time. However, the super exclusive one was the zombie one, which didn't come with the big castle. What color is it? I can't remember. Mm. Really? Uh, so there's an extra crystal to that the... That only came in the zombie set. It is oh. the rarest really? one. And it's the hand. The clawed ah. hand coming out of the ground. Now Reaching you out. know what? I want it. <laughs> we have a few, actually. If you look in our crystal... Okay, I have to go set, look. We have a few of them. But I do want to point out something that some people don't know. Did you mention in the last podcast about the different two different versions? There's two versions of the vampire castle. I only know this because of inventory that said a million times. It comes with two different versions and the same thing with the instructions. Now, everything is built exactly the same, but it came with a sticker set that had glow-in-the-dark leaves or dark tan leaves. So all of this would glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. Either or, yeah. Yeah, but these don't, and they have the red eyes. I don't know why they did that. I, know I that, did not see know that, that on your face. You're like, don't know why, and I don't. All I know is that Bricklink says there's two versions. So what? Sometimes what we end up doing because we don't have the sticker pieces, we may have the glow in the dark version of the of the instructions, but we don't. But we only have the dark tan part, so we have to label that on the on the box. Everybody wants to glow in the dark one. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, like, was one for different markets, or were they both mixed together? I don't was it know. random I when you got no it? I have no idea. It makes me want to look it up. That I should have probably looked it up. That before. sounds like a production thing that was changed halfway through, or something. It like could that. be that, like, there was a second production of them. Like, they made they'll often make Lego sets in waves. So, like, the first iteration of it will be produced for a while, a few years, and then they, like I know that um, some of the big creator cars were made multiple times. They'd made some changes slightly as well, mm -hmm. like the Mini Cooper, for example, mm -hmm. there's differences mm -hmm. in the box and the instructions. So. I don't know which one I have, because I remember it being in color. So it's probably the, the dark. dark tan one. Oh, and now you're going to want the glow in the dark one. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that is awesome. I, I feel like you would have turned the lights out on your monster stuff before Constantly. just to see it. So yeah. I feel yeah. like you would have noticed if it were glowing the it's dark. It's probably the standard one. Though. Yes. Right. Wow. We had this other one here, too. What is that from? This, Mark can tell you the story. So this is from, I want to say, 2001, 2002. You can play with it. It's very playable. This line was, I think it was pronounced, it's X-A-L-A-X. How would you pronounce it? I want to say Zalax? Yeah. And um, it's it's really an unusual little uh, sub theme of racers, and it had these really crazy monstrous looking. They look like little gremlins or trolls. Mm -hmm. They're called monster jumpers. I yeah. know that. Yeah, they have this little. It's like a three piece car, mm -hmm. and you had a little launcher where you could shoot them forward, and they have that bumper on the front. As soon as you hit that bumper against something, the seat the pops off. to the side. And you could have these guys literally launch at each other and see which one flies the furthest. Me and Steven, my brother, had a bunch of these growing up, and so they were really, really fun. 
And they have very uh, kind of monstrous, beastly names. Like that was, the driver's name was Snake. And he had a snake-themed car. And then there's one that's actually Ghost. And he had a Ghost-themed car. And he was glow-in-the-dark. I looked for the Ghost He's one, really but cool. we didn't have the Ghost one. He's I really looked. rare. Yeah, it was very fun to play with us. And they're actually in a video game, Lego Racers 2. And I was talking with Jacob, one of our other employees, about it. And he had played that game as a kid, too. Although he was a little younger than me and Steven. They were, like, squealing like girls. I played with that, too. Yeah, so that's such a strange uh, attachment there. There's a two-by-two... Two it's like a little... ...by two slope. It. And mm -hmm. it has a hollow inside. There's yes. no bottom tube. And that it'll fit over normal bricks, but it also has that open area so that it'll sit nicely on there, but not snap not down. Attached. So that when that lever action hits it, it has a pretty good chance of flying off. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is neat. Never even heard of that. Yep. Talk about rare pieces and everything on here. There was about a dozen sets, yeah, and they all have really very unique colors and pieces, yeah. Yeah, and I, like I said, I looked for the ghost. It's actually on a discontinued color, which is light orange, and it's pretty hard to come by. For sure, but yeah. I, we did not have one. That was as close as I found it. They had teal and lime green for this mm -hmm. one and, and really a wild blue, stuff. What? Was a blue one. You can show this... Um, hood here. What is this from? It's a lime piece. Yeah, it's from it's from Power Racers. It's the set was called Monster Jumper back in 2009. Mm, that year. would have been the hood of the car. That's from a uh, Nexo Knight. 2 by 4 slope. I I knew that was Nexo Knights. That's some monster's face. Yes, it is. Or vehicle's face. Mhm. Mm yes. The uh, pink book there, that's Friend's Contribution to the Scariness. That's the closest thing I could find to scary. And it's about ghost stories. It's from Mia's Treehouse. It literally says scary it's, stories. Right. And it's the Japanese version because it yeah. opens the wrong way. Well, I was going to say, the person who put that the sticker, sticker might have wrong. applied the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only Friend's Contribution I can find I like to that, anything scary. That ghost is like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> and that face, like, I'm scary, people. Yeah. Howdy, Howdy scary. Ghost. I'm yeah. very yeah. scary, girl. This is, an, is that a sticker or a print? This, That's from this Power Miners. Two by four tile. Yes. A uh, gray tile. What does with this it say? Silver print. Oh, it has the Rock Raiders monster. Yeah. Danger. Flying monsters. That yes. is awesome. Yeah. It's from the set. The yellow tile. It says Zumbi. Zumbi. You want to guess what thing that came from in 2009? Oof. I don't know. I think Zoom like a car, so yeah, it's, it's probably, probably a racer. Yeah. No, it was from Space Police Three. Oh, okay, yes, of course. Yeah, not zombie, but zombie. The aliens had a lo yes. lot of fun vehicles to yes. ride around. Yes, okay, that's what it was. Three cell phones right there. I know that hidden side. Mm -hmm. They're the hidden. They're all hidden side with ghosts. Because you need your iPhone in order to find ghosts these days. I mean, that's... really, really. Well, do. they had an app. They yeah, had exactly. an app for that. <laughs> an app for that. Ghost finding app. Don't look that up. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah, Inside did quite a bit to bring the back the spooky book. stuff, you know. That's from 2001 Hogwarts Castle. It's the ghost, some ghost book that they had sitting on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Oh, from wow. Hogwarts Castle, the original one. Is that one of the, the Horcruxes where he stores part it, of his soul? It has to be, yes. Yeah. That is uh, Tom Riddle's diary. Tom Riddle's mm -hmm. diary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, these uh, lime green. You know what green. those are, friend? Yes, I do. Tell everyone. These are, now I can't think of the name. Is That's uh, Hidden Sign as well, right? From mm -hmm. 2015. Nope. Ooh, wait, they're earlier. Um, ooh. 2015. Come on. Uh, Justin should know, I know it this. because this is It's really... Monster Fighters? No. No, they didn't have disc shooters in Monster Fighters. Where is that from? I have no idea. Let me give you a hint. Oh, Ninjago. Oh, yes. this is, oh, the haunted, the, um, So confusing, yes. Yes. That was the, um, Moro. The, yes. Yeah, the Moro dragon. They had the other sets that had these pieces. Of, That's probably right. a dragon that shot about its wings or something. Yes. That one, that white one, I thought it looked just like the, uh, what you oh, call that's, it? Oh, uh, that's Ultra Agents. That's the bad guy to Ultra no, Agents, it's right? Not. No, it's not. It's not. Looks it's, like Or uh, regular Agents. No. No. It's again the, hi -ya. It's Ninjago. Ninjago. It's wow. Ninjago. It looked like the, uh, from Stranger Things. The Mind Flayer. Yeah. It looks like the Mind Flayer uh, a little bit. Wait, let me see where it came from. Lord Garmadon Spinjitzu, 2016. Ah, so it, was a, it was a card. That must be the Overlord? Maybe. That has to be the Overlord. They're scanning right there. This is Hidden Side, right? I recognize it that minifigure. It is mini Hidden Side, the ghost. <laughs> uh, he's the ghost clown. Yeah, yeah, that's he's, it. He's at the carnival, right? Yeah. And that's obviously Nexo Knights. It is. You know which one? I know it's one of the bad guys because their shields were upside down. Yes. They were upside down, mm -hmm. which is weird to me, but yeah. It looks like poison chicken is the power. power. <laughs> I would call it poison turkey leg. Mm -hmm. It's called devastating decay. It's I've had people uh, come into the store a while back, and they were looking for shields like that, like the specific very dangerous bad guy shields are apparently very desirable. So The 
the ones that came out last with the vampire the looking final dudes wave, yeah. had the spikes on them. Yeah. Those are amazing. Mm-hmm. Those are so cool. Because they co- looked like the regular ones, mm-hmm. except they had, had the spikes on them. Pointy the sides. rock guys had rock details around it. Mm-hmm. They look so cool. And they're like a, a pearl gray. Yeah. Uh, that's Harry Potter, right? It is Harry Potter. An old Harry, An Potter, old piece. Harry Potter piece. Potions Master or something mm-hmm. like that. A nice shelf full of potions. That'd be super useful if you're building an interior. Oh, right. yeah. Put the back of a bookcase and ta-da. You're done. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you this is the brains that's from the, the zombie. zombie times. Yep. Of course, what else would be front page news to a zombie? Brains. Brains. And these two are just cool little stickered tiles from the like Monster Fighters version. haunted house. Because mm-hmm. in their attic, because all old ha- houses have stacks of old newspapers mm-hmm. for some reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And theirs are all about monsters, like Monsters Attack. Have you seen this ghost? Or Monster Brick comes to town, catch a zombie, win a big prize. Yeah. <laughs> or big price. Huh. Price? That's what it says. Hmm. Okay. Win a big price. I wonder that's, if it's a mess up, an error. That translation from Dutch to yeah, uh, yeah. English. <laughs> right. I know they yeah. speak English as one of their multiple languages, mm-hmm. but some things don't always translate. Well, some don't. Apparently, yeah. in order to work a job at Lego, it really is important that you are able to speak some Danish. Oh! Huh. <laughs> we have Queen Anne's Revenge. Talk about a spooky, spooky pirate ship. This is so cool. What a display piece. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a little bit of a ship pirate fan. Yes. What is your opinion of something like this? So, from a more of a historical perspective, having not seen this a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I've only seen the first one. This is from the last one. This is a older ship. It's an old Spanish galleon style ship. Mm-hmm. And it really fits in perfectly with the Spanish ghostly pirates from a previous time coming out to attack these, the new pirates. So it's really, I got a really cool look. The sails are all completely shredded. It doesn't actually function as a ship anymore, but it just travels on ghost power. You know, it's like, this it, it, is a supernatural is. ship. So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome, yeah. I love how it has a ship version mm-hmm. and a wrecked version mm-hmm. of, exactly. of what you can turn it into. Uh, and the zombie <laughs> shark, of course, which this set came with two of them. I know. There's another one down there. here, yeah. That it was so great. Awesome. They actually seem to like fit underneath like torpedoes. Yeah. And I heard this is the biggest pirate ship ever made in number of pieces. Yeah. Really? Okay. Because all the little details, the ribs of the ship. There's no hull, it's just a skeleton. To yeah. me, it's very well designed. To get that look to where it still looks like the hull of the boat, of the ship, but it's broken up, I feel like it was beautifully done. Although I feel like it'd be, it's gonna be really hard to display it. There's no good way to pick it up. <laughs> I found that was tricky. what I was saying, it's, it's really It's really tricky. hard to move. It's a good design way it looks, but moving it around or anything yeah, it's, is But uh, it does deceptively sturdy. sturdy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, Justin, why don't we talk about the giant gold mummy sitting on your side over oh there. Oh my there goodness, you go. that thing this, is so cool. This was in the background of our last, last podcast, and I don't think we even mentioned it. This was from the Adventures line from 1990. 98, it was the Treasure Raiders set with mummy storage containers, what Bricklink calls it, 5909. Is this a sarcophagus? Yep, that's, that's right. Yeah. yeah, It was a small set, and I guess the idea, do you know much about adventurers, that you put the set back in there and then you could travel around with it? I think it was like a carrying container for your set. You could put all the pieces in there and then move it around. I don't know if anyone actually used it. This is just before my time of buying sets, although I did have a couple of these growing up. When I first came to work here, we had a couple of these in the basement, and we ended up completing them and selling them. But this one didn't have the top or bottom, whatever the you lid. want to call it. Yeah. The lid. Okay. So it's just kind of been like the relic of the basement. Because the blimp did that too in the mm-hmm. Adventures line. Portable mummy, I love it because it's a mummy mm-hmm. uh, minifigure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get a big uh, smile. It's Lego. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Lego. happy mummy. He's a happy sarcophagus Egyptian person. We have to talk about Crankshaft. This is a set that we are selling, designed by the winner of Lego Master Season 2, Mark, Mark Erickson. Master. Mock Master Mark Erickson. Yeah, the original was a pretty simple Spartan look. Um, he didn't have, they didn't have, there's two of them. 
They didn't have a lot of characteristics other than a big smile and really bright black eyes. They were very simple because Steven built them in less than 40 minutes. Actually, more like 20 minutes. We didn't get to add all the a little more detail like we would have enjoyed because we were focusing on that car. Mm -hmm. The characters inside the car were not as important, although we wanted to do more detail. This is what we would have envisioned if we had all the time in the world and all the pieces available. I think most of these pieces were available in Lego Masters. Maybe not these large eye pieces. They're very cool, very We had the gray ones, not the white ones. Yeah. He is uh, inspired by that uh, episode episode six of Lego Masters. Pretty fun. He's very, he's poseable. He's a skeleton. He looks pretty spooky. He's supposed to be a, a race car driver, but because he just looks like a skeleton with a lot of attitude, he could go in any yeah. Halloween and scene. And <laughs> you can easily take that mohawk off of him if you just wanted a skeleton. Yep, you can just it, mm -hmm. it just comes off. It's, it's not like... Yeah, there you, there you go. Probably would add one more plate on his top yeah. of his dome of his head, but there's he's a happy little skeleton with a big mouth. Mm -hmm. so. I love him. He's precious. He's adorable. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's, he's got so a little precious. little green goo in his ribs too. Yep. I like little it. Guts <laughs> spilling out, still remnants of his former body. So, and you and can get him on our best website. Pal, his yep. best pal. Oh, yep. Lily. There's Lily <laughs> and Minnie Lily on Lily's head. Do you know how much off the top of your head? I want to say he's is going forty dollars. For? Forty dollars for the yeah. crankshaft mm -hmm. kit, yeah. and that's a lot of pieces. It is a lot of parts. It's, it's, it's deceivingly. I think it's like a hundred pieces. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So it's yeah. Lego has made a couple of lighthouses, all very similar designs too. Mm -hmm. They they haven't. It's a lot like the Scooby Doo lighthouse. Inside, we talked about this a little bit before. The sets were kind of meh. The mm -hmm. transformations, some of them were kind of lackluster, but there were a few standout, just totally spooky ones. This one was the haunted uh, Newberry Park City subway mm -hmm. set. And this was supposed to be in the ghost world. Mm -hmm. That's why in the, the upside down, but yes, not the Yes, exactly, yeah. yes. So that's why the main character has that blue face. Mm -hmm. And you can use him as a ghost. And it came with those awesome, <laughs> really brightly colored ghosts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but I love it because it's in the ghost world. It has a big face. It introduced the new colors for those mm -hmm. uh, leaf the pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, man beautiful color. Mm -hmm. I like the yellowish green teeth in the front. The green, green light monster. blue on the black. Yeah, really looks, great Which color. a lot really of the hidden side, that was the, whenever they transformed, it was always that mm -hmm. kind of. The green so color. So this one transforms with that too. This is how this one transforms. The eyeball turns around. <laughs> you saw Mark have, have the claw mm -hmm. come out. And I love the functionality of that, how it splays apart too. And it doesn't just come out. Exactly. They thought about how to Make it Splay it yeah. a little bit. Uh, lighthouses are always creepy to me. Really they are. seem like right. they show up in a lot of, uh, at least cartoons. Yep. There's always a Scooby-Doo episode with a haunted lighthouse. It's Always, like. always, yes. So <laughs> it, it's perfect setting for this kind of set, for sure. Chris was telling me these aren't actually made by Lego, but they are official Lego products. So right. this Chinese company mm. is licensed by Lego to make these keychain, very powerful LED lights. Mm -hmm. And they're a huge seller. Yeah. Huge seller here in the store. We just got the Brains. Halloween ones. Of Brains. The <laughs> Get the way, blah. <laughs> Upscaled minifigures, they're awesome. I love how they are based on actual minifigures. I love the ones that are based on actual minifigures. Mm -hmm. They actually move like minifigures. Even the heads turn, so they have articulation of an actual minifig. They are fifteen dollars each. Got um, pick and choose. Yeah, you know. slowly I'll accumulate them. Mm -hmm. But uh, the lights are independent, so you can splay the legs, and they both still work. Oh, that's so. If funny. you want light in two directions, places. you can do that. <laughs> If Lego yes. doesn't produce all the Halloween stuff and treats you want. Eclipse Graphics, I the ones that uh, made some of those minifigs, right? Mm -hmm. Did they make some? Yeah, a couple of them for mm -hmm. sure. They have these custom printed on real Lego pieces. Oh, I love it. Transclear door pieces? Please say you own these. I don't. We need to make Justin buy Justin. more of these. I, I need a reason. I need a, to build a bigger haunted house or something. These are perfect for changing a normal yeah, city are. building into, into a haunted like, one. Yes, absolutely. Loves mm -hmm. it. Got the spider webs. You got the haunted tape. You got the zombies. You got the ghosts. I love it. Caution tape. They're and very cool. inexpensive compared to something. Yes. So yes. I would totally $13 purchase for those. custom printed, four custom printed Transclear door pieces. Yep. Awesome. Show your handiwork. Oh, stop. There's a whole video about this. We don't need to go. <laughs> um, this this is just my little idea for this a super quick, just fun 
I think I built this in 20 minutes, maybe 35 with gathering the pieces. Yeah. So this was pretty quick. And it's the cheapest zombie you can get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a neat little thing parents you can do with your kids. Kids, make your parents do it. Fun little thing. See, if do. he did it that fast, he should be on Lego Master Season 3, right? I know. We should, no. uh, we should convince Stop. him to sign up. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Awesome. I, I have to have it motorized and light up. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> you would have been given five minutes to do that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then it's got to explode Go. and stick to the yeah. ceiling. Oh. And then you got to <laughs> blow it with a fan. And you got to <laughs> hang bubbles. off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's got to look great. Mm -hmm. and it's Yep. More color, more story. No gray, yeah, lots right. of color. No, yeah, th this can't be gray. What are you doing? <laughs> pink, that needs to be pink. pink. Yeah. yeah, it's just there's so much gray in the tombstone. <laughs> I think it should have more teal. Oh wait, and it needs wings. It needs wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where are the wings? <laughs> Yeah. No, we love Amy. Amy's awesome. Oh, Amy no. and Jamie are awesome. We're, just, we're, we're just traumatized. We're just, yeah, we're just, yeah, <laughs> we're just yeah. Mark. Just Mark is traumatized. Oh, yeah. He wakes up in sweaty fits yeah. listening to a Scottish I literally accent. had PTSD afterwards. Oh, really? I, I woke up like, Steve, we got to build fast and wake myself up. Yeah. Really? Yeah, can like really. That? I can so. totally, I totally well, see that. Well, you know that. what? The week he came back and I would say he's got to work, he and I had to work on the city and I say, okay, you have two hours. Ready? Go. And he's like, no. <laughs> he just curled up in a ball. Yeah, he's I was like, in fetal <laughs> position. I, I froze up. It was bad. So. That would be hard, I'd imagine. <laughs> that, as as testers, we know. Yeah, you a guys, little bit. We, we got a taste. We tried yeah. multiple we, challenges. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we didn't awful. have the same on the line type of mm -mm. mentality. You know, no, we didn't. if we failed, we could still come back the next day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. You failed. They were like, they just took a note and said, "Good <laughs> job." Yeah, 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 that's right. That's exactly what happened. That's, that's right. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully, we showed you everything that we thought was creepy, spooky that Lego has designed, especially this little fella, <laughs> the spookiest lady. right there. Lady. This, uh, la lady. That's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Lady. Spooky <laughs> little lady there. Did we miss out? Was there anything we forgot? We can't cover it all, but we uh, hopefully we hit the highlights of everything. I mean, it was so much, yep. it filled two podcasts. And I know we missed stuff. Yeah. Uh, we had to have, but I, I would say we've done pretty well. If we forgot anything, we'll save it for next Halloween. Enjoy the season. Don't eat too much candy. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider doing that. We like to provide a lot of fun, a lot of information, and a lot of... Just Lego. Mm -hmm. Just good old Just fun, Lego. clean Lego. I have a lot to buy. <laughs> <All those figures laughs> we always do. We always I want to get do. the rock monsters. Yeah. yeah. Happy Halloweeny. Yeah.